What's up? It's your girl, Lena Green. In this video, I want to talk about repeating numbers. I feel like it's a good time to do that. I also would like to share with you guys my experience with repeating numbers and how I was kind of led to the realization that I was going through an awakening from the numbers. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. I was living in Oregon for the later part of 2015 and the early part of 2016. I had moved home in February 2016. So shortly after returning home, I got a job working at Macy's department store. And I was working there for a couple months and what started happening around that time is that is when I started to see the first sequence of numbers that <laughs> jumped out to me and started getting my attention. And the reason why this number stuck out to me was because this was a number that my man that I had been involved with for many years was obsessed with this number. This was a number of a person in sports that he really admired. This number was just a number that he was obsessed with. So he was always talking about this, this number. And so when I started seeing the number everywhere, it was really weird to me because we weren't together anymore at that point. And just seeing that number everywhere made me think of him and it, and it like stuck out in my mind, you know? And, and what I mean by this is I was working like as the cashier. So I had, you know, I was always at one of those little computer things. And I mean, every time I looked at the clock, it would be a, a part of the sequence. It was, it would be reversed. It, you know, it would be, it was just everywhere I looked. It would be on receipts. It would be on cars. It started within the workplace, but then it moved outside the workplace. So at first it was just within like the POS and like the system I was working at. Then it turned into like license plates. It turned into receipts. It turned into telephone numbers. It turned into like little things that, like if I had to go somewhere, it, it was part of the address. If I was calling somewhere random, it was part of the number. It got to be so insane. And a lot of you guys know that it, it starts to become so insane that you're like, what? is actually going on and at this point I have an opinion like you start seeing what I call the attention grabbers okay these are gonna be numbers that hold some type of significance for you whether it be your birthday whether it be your birth weight your address your telephone number a number that you know one of your boyfriends or girlfriends was obsessed with a number uh, you know just like an address of an apartment you lived like anything that you would see and think oh like there's that number like that means something to me and you would start seeing it constantly and you would know that there was there was something with that okay a lot of the times it's 11 11 a lot of people will start to see 11 11 first okay and there's a lot of theories as to why that is. You know, some people say it's because our matrix is believed to be made up of like, like ones and zeros. So they say that like, um, that it's like a symbol of, of leaving the matrix. You know, the, the, the theories get very, uh, there's a lot of theories as to why it's 1111. Really, I think that it's just a number that if you see it repetitively, you're gonna notice it, you know, four ones. It's like, oh, 1111. Also, there is that whole thing with 1111 make a wish. So that I think actually has like some truth to it. You know, 1111 make a wish. If you become conscious of your wish every time you see 1111, um, you know, maybe there's putting more energy behind it or maybe it's just a, uh, a reminder to be mindful. I'm not sure. The, you know, there are other theories that say that it means you're coming into like more more energy more more power there are theories that talk about you know the whole gates and that you're you know entering a new uh a new paradigm a new reality a new way of living is really the way i would just sum it up as that you're just you're entering like a new way of living okay so you start to see the 11 11s and i think that that just happens simply because it's an attention grabber all in itself 1111 is known to be that number that people start seeing. It has that significance. So I think that 1111 is used as an attention grabber. But other people, like for me, for example, I, the 1111 was not one of the numbers that was incorporated into my awakening. You know what I mean? It was, 
it was different numbers for me. So it was those attention grabbers. From those attention grabbers, what happened once I became conscious of the fact that I'm seeing these repeating numbers, they turned into the double digit repeating numbers. So the 22s, the 33s, the 44s, the 55s, the 66s, the 77s, 88s, 99s. Now it was, at, you know, it, it progressed. There were different ones at different times. And I wanna talk about this, but I wanna be careful in the way that I do because sometimes the numbers are gonna be messages and sometimes they're not. And what I mean by that is in the beginning, and this is just a lot of my opinion, so take it with like a grain of salt, but also if it resonates, like hold it, you know? Uh, in the beginning, okay, the universe and God knows that your level of, your level of reception and your level of mindfulness at that point is not like 100% consistent. So the universe, I feel like, in my opinion, is not gonna relay direct messages through the numbers to you at that exact point because you're still releasing a lot of energy like you are still going through a lot so the universe isn't going to be trying to tell you to like you know to be sending these like decoded number messages to you like with 55s of change and 22s of balance like the universe isn't going to do that at that point because like you cannot understand at that point in time until you're like way more mindful like exactly what the universe is is doing. So at that time when you were seeing all those numbers, it would it my advice to you, the people in the beginning, you're seeing a lot of repeating double digits. Don't try to read in heavily to what every single number means. Okay? The reason you're being shown those numbers is because God, Mother Nature, the energy that surrounds you want you to know that you are not alone and that you are going through something that is way bigger than you, that is kind of being guided and that you are being protected and that you are not alone during this. So that's what the numbers are letting you know, in my opinion, at that specific point. Now, when you wake up to become just a little bit more mindful, which it's, you will, then, in my opinion, that's when the numbers start to become a little bit more of a form of communication in terms of like trying to communicate something through you, to you, <laughs> with the number, okay, with a specific number. So I might do another video in the future as to what my understanding as to what the different numbers mean, you know, 22, 33, 44. 55 etc and the triple form of those so which is just like a higher vibration of that I, you know I think it's just a level of communication okay so but in the beginning when I was first guided to see the, the, the you know the first number sequence that I talked about that allowed me to realize okay wow like I'm seeing these repeating numbers what does this mean when I started googling repeating numbers okay that's when I stumbled upon the awakening information then I fell down that rabbit hole and that's when I started learning that there is something going on that I am kind of experiencing something it's a phenomenon like a lot of people have experienced this and this is when I was like wow oh I'm not going mad you know <laughs> so from the attention grabbers, the 1111, the birthdays, the addresses, the telephone numbers that are all familiar to you, when you realize, when you are conscious now that this is happening, that's when they will move into your double digits, okay? For me, at, at that time in my life, I was in a very dark time. So I was going through, you know, what I would consider like my first dark night of the soul when I first started seeing a lot of the double repeating digits. And they were changing so often that at first I started thinking that each one was a message and then I kind of confused myself with that, which is why I wanted to be very careful with the way I said it because in the beginning, when you are in that like very vulnerable, very like, you're in a rough spot, okay? Like it's a really rough time of life. Like it's, it's very difficult that first, that first shift, that first ego breakdown, that first reality shatter when you're going through a lot, okay? If you start trying to read into what every number is trying to tell you, like you're really, you might just cause yourself a little bit of unnecessary grief, unnecessary confusion. I did. I read into every single number I was seeing at that moment. Like, 
a lot of it, it's not like that at that time. Um, and just my opinion, okay, and that's what worked for me. When I realized that, I was like, okay, they're just trying to let me know that they're there. They just want me to know that, that I am going through something, that I'm not going crazy, I'm not doing something wrong. Someone is around me, like there is an energy surrounding me that knows and understands like what I'm going through. You know what I mean? So once I was able to realize that, and I became conscious of that, you're able to just like accept the process a lot more and allow it to flow, which is a lot of the intention behind me making this video because I know some of y'all are experiencing that very heavy right now. And coupled with seeing repeating numbers, I mean, you start to feel like you're really, like really going insane, okay? And I've noticed some, some comments on my channel recently from people that I definitely interpret as like in the beginning of this, like, you're, you're just stumbling through this like this is maybe like your first shift which which like congratulations like I'm so glad you're here like I know what you're going through is like the hardest thing in the world right now but like man we've all been through it and you are just you are in the best place okay like it, you are so blessed and I'm so happy you're here okay so and I don't mean like the best place on my channel I mean like <laughs> the best place like to be in life you feel me like like you are transforming, you are shedding that old energy, you are releasing energy that's been holding you back, man, that's been standing in your way, standing in the way of your dreams, your desires, the life that you wanna be living and creating, all right? So I know it's hard right now, but those numbers are just trying to let you know that like you are going through a process, it is gonna be okay. You have to trust the process. If there are numbers around you that are showing up that, I mean, for somebody who doesn't understand this phenomenon, this can literally sound like insane. Okay, like actually insane. But for those who, who understand that this is, um, this is real and, <laughs> and it's a level of communication and you're not crazy and someone's surrounding you. Someone is surrounding you, allowing you to know and see and be conscious of the fact that you are not alone. So just please understand that that is profound profound and you have nothing to fear okay especially if you're seeing those 33s those 44s I mean if you're here in general you you have nothing to fear first of all don't fear anything okay we have nothing to fear except fear itself but man if you're seeing 33s and 44s like please just know like you are you are fine okay So that's how I was led to the realization that I was awakening through repeating numbers and through numbers showing up in my reality so much, so much so that it was driving me insane. I thought I was going mad. I looked them up on the internet and started searching Google. And that is when I was led to different resources and different articles that spoke about spiritual awakening and the symptoms and blah, blah, blah. And that's when I fell down that rabbit hole. <laughs> and <laughs> Speaking of rabbit hole, this is so random, but I just want to say this before I go because I wonder if anyone else has ever had this thought. The story of Alice in Wonderland, right? I think Louis C.K. was trying to get at something with that story. She goes following a white rabbit. She follows the light. She ends up falling down a real dark hole. Real dark hole. She gets down there. She don't know what the heck's going on. There's all these monsters. There's all these things craziness right <laughs> she winds up back in her house too big for the house she lived in before too big for her environment I really think he was trying to get at something with that I just think it's genius but that's you know that's just randomness but repeating numbers guys you're not going crazy you are seeing those numbers and you're not just imagining it okay this is a phenomenon okay <laughs> But not even so much so, okay? I mean, it is, but it's not. We get it. We know what's going on, all right? Somebody's letting you know that you're not alone. They want you to know that. Someone wants you to know that. Something wants you to know that. Because what you're going through is beautiful. You are raising in vibration. You are ridding your cells of cellular memory that you have carried around for years and years and years. Negative, regret, pain. Your cells carry that around in the form of cellular memory. All right, when you start going through this energetic shift, your cells are releasing that energy. That energy has to manifest physically. 
When it manifests physically, it comes out as anxiety, depression, real negative situations in your life. Why? Because feelings are energy. It is a law of the universe that energy attracts likewise energy. So when you're releasing that negative, you will attract the negative into your life. It's a healing process. It's a healing process. You will see those numbers during that time, during that healing process, because God wants you to know that you are not alone, that he's orchestrating this mother nature, the divine feminine energy that surrounds you, that is within you, guiding all of this. God, the masculine energy. All right, that's what all this talk of mother nature, God, that's all it is, is it's energy. It's, it's, the, it's, it's the positive and negative. It's the yin and the yang. It is our reality. One last thing before I go, when people try to tell me that using the law of attraction and talking spiritual out, spirituality is evil and that this is uh, using the occult and doing things like that, I need to break something down for you very quickly and very, I need you to hear me right now. That is part of the deception that they placed upon us. That is why religion was formed into the thing that religion is, okay? Saying that you're using the law of attraction is saying that you're using gravity. The law of attraction is a law of the universe. The law of attraction is being used in your reality whether you're conscious of it or whether you're not. God gave you mental power, okay? By using that mental power, you are not evil. You are not part of the occult. The occult took God's power and used it for negative used it to control his people okay they wanted to deceive everybody into not coming to know that real power of God they tricked everybody all right how do you think Jesus did the things he did here he did magic here through his mental power through the power of God all right, our God does not send, a, we do not come here to suffer and to be weak and to just be corporate slaves. That's what they want you to think. So if they make you think that it's sinful to take the power of your mind and to use it to create your reality, then who remains in control? Who continues making the money? Who continues the control? <laughs> the same people perpetuate in the lie. All right, that is the deception, all right? This isn't new age, this is God. This is the way God intended us to live, all right? By waking up, by taking control of our reality, by creating our reality. The law of attraction does not make you focus on worldly possessions, which is something someone else has commented. The power of our mind is putting so much love into this world. The people who are using this power the right way are using it to create the future that we want. Every day we focus on that, all right? That's how you create the kingdom of heaven on earth. That's why the Bible says that the kingdom of heaven is within you, okay? I love y'all. I hope this helps some of y'all out there. You're not going crazy. Those repeating numbers are a really good sign. You're never alone. That energy is always around you. God is always with you. God is always within you, all right? Have a beautiful day. You're beautiful. Don't forget that, all right? Hang in there. <laughs>